So right now I'd like to show you a few simple body weight moves that you can do anytime, anywhere that will help you improve your running and make you stronger. talk about is the push-up. Now a lot of people overlook the push-up but I believe that it's a really great exercise for building your upper body and your chest and your core strength. There are a few variations of the push-up. The first one is for beginners where you can go off your knees if you absolutely can't do it off your feet. So what you want to do with that is you want to straighten your body, align your arms so that your wrist is underneath your elbow, which is underneath your shoulder, so this is all straight. And then you want to engage your core, and then slowly bring yourself down, and then come back up. So down and up. Down and up. And if that's still too hard, then what you can do is you can work up to doing this kind of push-up. And what you want to do there is you want to just slowly lower yourself and just hold it for as long as you can, even if it's five seconds or two seconds, and then come back down again, rest for a bit, and then try to push yourself up part way and just hold it there for a few seconds. And as you get stronger, you'll be able to go higher and higher, which will help you eventually build up to doing the push-ups off your feet. Now for the more advanced folks, what you can do is you can do the push-ups off your feet. And the way you want to do that is you want to, again, make sure that your wrist, elbow, and shoulder is in perfect alignment and then you want to tighten your core so that your butt isn't too high. You want to engage your glutes so that you're keeping this nice and tight. And then slowly bring yourself down and you come back up. So down, up, down, up, down, up. And now that's the first one. So this one is really good for your core and your upper body. You can definitely do this one anytime, anywhere. So beginners can try to do anywhere between five and 10 if they can. The intermediates could do anywhere between 15 and maybe 20. And the more advanced people, they sometimes can do these forever. I've seen some people be able to bang out like 50 of these in one go. The next thing that I want to talk about is the plank. Now the plank is a very simple core exercise that a lot of people have done or seen, but sometimes it's still not being done properly. So the key thing with the plank is to ensure that you're keeping your body nice and straight and that you're keeping your core engaged. And I will demonstrate. So then what you want to do is you want to tighten your glutes, tighten your core, and make sure that your elbow and your shoulder is aligned. And then you just hold that there. And I still can't believe that there is a, there is a girl who is doing this for four hours and 20 minutes and setting the world record in this position. This is very simple to do and you don't have to do a lot of it. You can start by doing 10 seconds and just hold it there, take a break, then do it for another 10 seconds. But of course, you can't just focus on the front portion of your core, your rectus abdominis. You also want to focus on your obliques. And how you focus on your obliques is simple. You do the side plank. 
And with a side plank, the same thing is very important. So you want your elbow and your shoulder to be aligned with each other. And then you just lift up. And you should feel all the tension right in here. But you also want to make sure that you do the same amount of time on both sides. So then on the other side, the same thing. And you also want to feel all the tension right here. You can sense that your muscle is engaged. And what I find happens sometimes is that it's easier to do on one side than the other. So for some people, they're, they can easily do one minute on one side, but then they struggle to get 45 seconds on the other side. And that could be because, because they're stronger on one side than the other, so they have a little bit of muscle imbalance. And if you're going to run long distances eventually, the goal is to eliminate the muscle imbalance as much as possible, or else it's going to get amplified as you keep running longer and longer. This other exercise, good for your glutes, and it's the glute bridge. So this is really good for people who may not be comfortable with squatting yet for any reason, or who've had knee issues before. So with the glute bridge, it's very simple. All you do is you lay down, and this is gonna be your starting position. Make sure that your heel is relatively close to your butt and that this forms a 90 degree angle, or approximately. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna engage your glutes and lift up. And then you can also hold this. And then as you hold it, you should start to feel the glute muscles. And you're also keeping your core engaged. And then you bring it back down. And you bring it back up. And you bring it back down. So you bring it back up. And down. And then some people want to add a bit more tension to this one and they can do that by putting a weight across their hips or they can add a band around their knees or all kinds of different things that they can do to make this one a bit more challenging. And now while I'm still in this position, now is a good time to demonstrate another one of my favorite core moves. And this one is what I call the leg lift. Now with the leg lift, the goal is to keep your back as flat as possible on the mat. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to arch it like this as you're lifting your legs. So you want that to be nice and tight to the mat. And then you're trying to engage your core by imagining that you're trying to make your belly button touch the back of your spine. So now that's all nice and engaged. And then if you want to make what to do with your arms, you're probably wondering. So what I like to do is I like to put them here because then it keeps me from lifting up my back too much. At least that's what works for me. For some people, it may not work down there like that. So then all you do is you go down, and up. Down. And up. If you're a beginner, if you're just trying to explore this movement a little bit, then what you want to do is you want to bend your knees a little bit, and then just go down and up slowly, but still focus on really engaging that core. And another one of my favorite moves that I like to do is a side leg lift. So this one is really good for your gluteus medius. And the reason why I like it is because it focuses on strengthening this part, which is 
not something that we get to do during running, but if it's not strong enough, then we're going to feel it in our knees a bit during running. So if our gluteus medius is not strong enough, we are more likely to get a knee injury. So with that being said, your starting position is right around there. You're bending your bottom leg just for balance. And then slowly lift up and down. And if you want to challenge yourself a bit more, then you can put an ankle weight around your ankle, or you can put a rubber band around your legs here, and that will add a bit more resistance to this particular move. And you also want to do the same amount of repetitions on both sides to make sure that your body stays balanced for running. And this concludes my top exercises for strength training for runners.